So over the last couple of weeks, I've been posting my wake up times on IG, which is 4 a.m., sometimes earlier, 3.30, 3.20. And I've been doing it for years, but I wanted to start showing people that. But one, you know, just in case people think it's capped, they don't believe me. No, I'm really getting up at this time. But also, I want to go a little bit deeper and explain, well, why? What's the point? Because first, the first thought someone might have is, oh, because you want to get to the gym on time. And honestly, that's probably not even the fourth reason on my list why I get up that early because the gym opens at five, I'm up at 3.30. Listen, there's plenty of time to, for me to get, I can get up at 4.15 and make it to the gym, 4.30 and make it to the gym at five. So it's not about getting to the gym early. It's not trying to be the first person there, right? Let's hop into the real reasons, the main reasons for me why I've been getting up this early for years. Number one, requires discipline. As I scream in every video, discipline, discipline, discipline. It is the skeleton, the backbone of all of this. Regardless of what you're trying to do, what you're trying to accomplish, who you're trying to become, if there's no discipline in the actions, if there's no discipline within your strategy, if there's no discipline in your plans, None of it matters, okay? So with getting up early, it's not fun. I don't necessarily want to get up at 3.30, 4 o'clock, but I know it's what, it's what I need to do. And regardless of I'm out of state, out the country, it's a holiday, whatever's going on, the alarm clock is still gonna go off at the same time. So now that puts me in a spot where, okay, you gotta be on point the night before, whatever it is that you've been doing, if it's not conducive to the goal, hey, it's on you. Because if you decide to stay out late or decide to binge watch anything, you're gonna suffer. You're gonna work off of an hour of sleep and you're gonna hate yourself getting up at that time. So yeah, I'm in the bed relatively early. I mean, I can definitely go to bed earlier, but it now starts to shape the decisions. And regardless of what's going on. If I break those decisions, I have to make sure I hold myself accountable and stay disciplined. I can't get motivated because, okay, there's a trip coming up or something good is going on. So I'm inspired. I'm motivated. to go. No, 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 no. Regardless if it's been a, a bad week, good week, whatever type of week it is, no, we're still getting up. We still got to go. And if you can start building those principles and that discipline in one area, it starts to spill over into other aspects of your life. That's really the biggest thing with just build, using these as tools. Because if you can build it in one area, develop yourself in one area, it spills over into other parts of your life. Build yourself. Build the person that you want to become through these actions, through your, through your decisions. I have like this, I have the vision of what I'm striving for, who I want to become, things that I want to attain. And once I have that set and have that goal set, now I just build the actions that are, are in line with it. The second one, there's just a certain level of just silence, right? The phone isn't going off, it's notifications, none of that. You know, there's no cars, it's, you're not racing to get to this, to that. It's, it's just silent. So it gives you an opportunity to have that inner monologue with yourself. It gives you an opportunity just to start hearing your thoughts because you don't have those distractions coming from every angle, from people, things, notifications, all of these things are going on. 4 a.m., 3.30, it's nothing. So take advantage of that by sitting with yourself, listening to yourself, listening to those thoughts. What's, are you waking up in a negative space? Why? All right, try to dissect where is it coming from? And then work on, okay, how can we eradicate these negative thoughts? And I always say, if you're waking up negative, you're waking up feeling frustrated. Now that workout that comes later, when you do go to the gym at five o'clock or you're going to jujitsu, after that workout, you're pushing that out. But it gives you this opportunity to just create your plan, Right, if you're, you might want to do like a little journal entry, go into your affirmations, go into a meditation, 
it's a plethora of things, but you have that block of time to just be with yourself, you know, and just to listen. And what do you want to do? What do you what are you feeling? You know, what's the strategy for today? What are the goals for the day? What are the wins that you're trying to stack for today? Because you know, once you leave that your your place and you get the day started, you're a million. You got to go to a million different places. You're all all over the place, and you don't have those moments. We don't have. We're so limited now, unless you dil- diligently set that time for yourself. We get distracted so many times that by the time we do have that moment to sit with ourselves, the day is over. So for me, I take that early morning to just be in silence. It's no music. It's no podcast. It's nothing going on. I can just listen. You know, if I need guidance on something, I just need focus. Sometimes you just have to go within. So I do that every morning. So now when the day really gets going, now it's like, okay, I have a a better understanding or just a clear idea of what I need to do. So with those two things alone, it's so powerful. It's so powerful to help you get on your path, stay on your path, and just to see the vision and see that goal because it's work, it's hard, it's difficult, it's, it's not easy. So I use all these things as tools to help me along the way in this battle. Well, a lot of times I wake up negative, for example, so it's like I'm coming from a negative position. So before I go out in the world to begin my day, I don't wanna have that negative energy because that negative energy just leads to bad decisions. I'm working off of emotion. I'm working off of a place of, it's not clear. So by the time I get up, realize that, figure it out, try to get it out, go get the workout in, smash the weights. By the the time it actually, the day actually starts, whatever it was that was stressing me out Whatever was bothering me, whatever I saw it was negative, I'm not letting it control me. And I think that's another thing that everyone's going through, whatever they're going through, you have to learn how to, how do we channel it? How do we harness it? How do we reduce it? How do we take the power away from it? And all of those things is what I'm doing. So I have like little strategies and little step-by-step things that I like to do. It's like, like a checklist that I have. Every morning I run through this checklist and go like clockwork, go through this checklist, even before I'm driving off to the gym. I'm with the coffee and I'm just going through it. And once I really adapted that strategy, that program, whatever you wanna call it, it made such a difference. So I'm sharing that with all of you and it's been working because I'm seeing a few people now, they're getting up early and that's what it's about. You're just paying it forward. So. I wanted to share that with you guys, just so you guys get a better idea of the why and something that you should think about. Maybe you're going to implement it into your mornings. Get up early. Like I said before, if you're trying to work on something, if you have your your side business, your side hustle, and hey, if you got to be to work at nine, that means you got to get to the gym, okay, at five, at 6 a.m., all right, you got to get up at four o'clock, 4.30 to work on the business. You know, maybe you have to... Use that hour to work on whatever it is that you're trying to get done, make it to the gym, and then begin your day. So just wanted to drop that with you guys. Short video, but the early morning wake-up calls, for me, non-negotiable. It's, it's, it's not a if I'm going to wake up at that time. It's really about, okay, how earlier can I get up? So... So I got for you guys more videos on the way. Let's go.